How do you become Millers? Oh, Millers. Um, yeah, well, I uh, my character Casey starts out as kind of like a punk runaway with like streaks in her hair and piercings, and she gets the Miller makeover where they cut her hair short and dye it blonde and put her in a polo. So that was a fun makeover to go through from like kind of this like grungy girl to like like the perfect daughter. So that was really fun for me to do with with my character. What about you all? Yeah, not, not much of a makeover for Kenny. He kind of uh, arrives as a dork and, and, and ends the movie as a dork. Uh, once a dork, forever a dork. And uh, he was a lot of fun to play. Um, I really enjoyed him. He's like a you know, a really sweet kid, a really good soul. Um, Kenny's the kind of guy who would, uh, you know, um, unintentionally, inadvertently mess everything up, but would never fully realize that and uh, always has good intentions, you know, and, and cares a lot for, you know, the, the family. And um, it's really sweet at the end of the film when everybody comes together and they all seem to care for each other. We feel like a family. So uh, do the Millers seem like a, a family, uh, uh, a dream family or a family from hell? What would you say? I think they're kind of um, the perfect mix of crazy but loving. And you kind of see that transformation where they're kind of everyone from opposite ends who come together and realize they really care about each other. And they, they all want the same thing. You know, they want, they want to have people that care about them and they want to, I think deep down, like have a, have a home, you know, because they're all kind of from all over the place and don't really belong anywhere. So I think they feel like they belong with each other by the end. And there's something really special about that. And do, do, you, do you think that, uh, that uh, Jennifer and uh, Jason become good parents in the film? Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. think they take on like their parental responsibilities so well. And uh, it's a really sweet scene, which is one of my favorite scenes, uh, where um, Emma uh, ends up going on a, on a date with uh, this, this kid at the fun fair. And Jason and, and Jennifer get immediately parental with her mm -hmm. and very kind of like, very protective over her. And it's a really sweet moment where you see yeah. your character kind of really love that, you know, mm -hmm. and really feel uh, comforted by yeah. that. So it's a lovely scene by the three of them. Well, the film is incredibly funny, some fantastic one-liners. Um, how much of it was written? How much of it did you guys just come up with? It's kind of a mixture of everything. Yeah. Like, it was pretty much written, but then Jennifer and Jason would ad-lib or come up with things. We ad-libbed a little bit. Um, Ross and the director would also kind of come in every morning, and he, well, as we would shoot, he would throw out jokes for us to say and stuff like that. So it was really like one big collaboration mm. between everyone. and. Um, and that, that was that was really fun because a lot of stuff in the movie is stuff that wasn't in the script and then um, you know there's just stuff that came right off the pages that was hilarious. What about the tarantula? Yeah the tarantula bite will uh, <coughs> forever be etched in my memory. Um, I, I still have nightmares about tarantulas and khaki shorts. Um, it was a, a, a crazy experience shooting that big like you know, a prosthetic uh, piece of makeup that took like three hours to put on. Um, it was like a very uncomfortable, awkward, cold day uh, <laughs> next to the side of the road. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the reactions of these guys to it and, and the way the kind of scene played out was just so much fun and kind of like quite a sort of uh, pivotal scene for the, for the Millers. Um, it, was, it was a really good laugh.